then when I grew up, once I was about 18 or 19, I applied for a job on the ships. So I started there as a stewardess. Yeah, I was about eight, between 18 and 19. And um, then there was only like one stewardess on at a time if there was one of us had a trip off. But normally there'd be two women, two of us on together. And we were like looking after the women and children on the crossing then. And then once we got to the port, we'd have to call them if they were in cabins and that, and uh, then make up the cabins and all after ready for the trip back. So in the summer, it was busy because we used to do 24 hours on and 24 hours off. So that was a killer. And um, it was mostly foot passengers and the London Paddington train would have 800 plus on it coming into Fishkill Harbour. Then there was customs there, there was loads of porters because they'd be looking for porters to carry the cases on the ship. Yeah, in the summertime it was really busy because 24 hours on was tough going. Came home, you were so tired and the next thing it was time to go back again. So you didn't have any social life. At the same time, I met my husband when I was there. Uh, he used to go deep sea. He was from Rosslare. And um, we met and married within five months. <laughs> I wouldn't want any of my children to have done that. <laughs> uh, what else I got done? Yeah. On, um, in, the, in the winter, it would be quiet, so there'd only be one ship running, and the other one would be anchored out in the bay then. So when we used to do a crossing then, we'd have like a day in Rosley, a day in Fishka. So could go up to Exford on the train or somewhere. That was great, yes, then. I went on at four o'clock in the afternoon till four o'clock the next afternoon. So we do turn round trips all the time. So yeah, it was really tiring. Oh, the pay was good. That was a good thing about And well, I was very happy there, you know, they were all so friendly. So yeah, I enjoyed it. Then on one occasion, um, well, there used to be th three ships there at that time. There was one going to Cork and one going to Waterford and one to Rosslare. And uh, I remember one time we brought troops directly from Fishgad up to Belfast. And uh, then when there was a rugby on in Ireland, the ship would be full then, of all the ones going over to play rugby. 